Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing some more Talos Principal Test Chambers. Look at this, it looks like he just hit Control A. I've, I don't think I've ever hit Control A to select everything and see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool, actually. So let's see, the guards must be crazy. Oh, yes, I remember that puzzle very well. And, uh, as you can see from this arrangement right here, I can already hear it in the- in the map. You hear that? Ah, so that's- that's what the mines look like. What does this do? Oh, it respawns the cube, alright. This goes there. Am I supposed to, like, hop over... or something? Also, there's that bug in the game again, still. Yep, if you can't see the thing blocking the laser, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I think maybe we'll want to do this at one time speed. <laughs> okay, so that's how you do it, I guess? Oh gosh, now we gotta hurry before it comes back. <laughs> Alright, we did it. With no help from the in incredible vanishing laser. I wanna see... Does it actually hurt if it if it magically hits you? Oh, I didn't even didn't even get it. <laughs> wow, that is interesting. It just hits the cube. All right. <laughs> I guess because the game knows it's not really there. Oh, by the way, the- the co-op chambers, uh, I played with Nock in a big livestream, if you missed it. So let's see, we'll wanna open this, right? And then what are we gonna wanna do? I guess we just wanna get past the guards, right? But... What's the laser cube for? The guards are past us. And now... Use this. Oh, and it, it turns off the guards, alright. So let's go over here and get this cube. Oh wait, mmm. Oh good, okay. I was worried about that. And then we do this. That lets the guards back on, so that's okay. We do this. And then we take this over here. Okay, so we have to use the funnel to wait for the guard to pass. Ta-da! On to the next. That's cool, I like that. Next. Let's see... Let's read this one's description. Number 24. Only the two of us. That name is familiar. Only the two of us. I do remember a puzzle in the game that was titled Only the Two of Us, but I don't actually remember the puzzle itself. Let's see, how do we want to get started? Oh, there's a ball over there. I wonder what the ball's for. Okay, so this needs both to get to the exit. Oh, here's a ball. I guess the ball is just something that can stand on buttons, but not... not the Q buttons.
Alright. So here's the question, right? This doesn't open that, right? Yeah, it doesn't. So then how do I get the ball on here? Am I missing something? I am missing something. I can put the ball here, like an idiot. Uh Oh! It's a one-time use. Alright. I wasn't expecting that. That- that did startle me. Oh, that's right, the balls are supposed to be... the, uh, the keys. Alright, fair enough. Forgot about that. So we'll need another key to go over here. I think... I think I do remember one puzzle in the Talos Principle having two keys in it. What does this do? Oh, it pauses them. Oh, that's right, you have to get them in sync. Yeah, so now they're in sync, basically. And so now we've got this ball, which... Okay, so that turns off the guards. Come here. And then, we go back. And then we get the cube. The guards back on again. And so when we put the cube here, we put the ball over there. And that does that. Also, I just realized I need to be calling that these things the I need to be calling them edgeless safety cubes for Max. I already forgot. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, so the edgeless safety cubes are keys, and now we have two weighted storage cubes that we can put in the Aperture Science heavy duty super colliding super buttons, or whatever they're called. And then we can just leave. I don't know if there's a fancy name for the elevators, though. Alright. Next up is number 25, which I will read the description of shortly. Evaluate. View and workshop. The end of the beginning. My hardest map so far? Well, we'll see about that. Now, won't we? Alright then. So that does that. We've got a laser cube in there. We've got some stuff there. And this needs. Oh! Huh, alright, so I guess if we hit something here, it'll also disable the fizzler, perhaps. We have portable walls. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. That is quite strange. What's in here? All right. Square. Where did I see square at? Was that- was a square over here? No, that's dot. That also says square. What- how does that also say square? There's square here. 
and there's square here. That doesn't make any sense, though. I thought... What? Okay, I'm assuming that this is gonna do stuff. Alright. That wasn't what I expected it to do, but that is a start. So maybe... Come on, give me this. Maybe... Ah, oh, there's square. That's still strange, I've never seen three square signages like that before. Very unusual. So we do that. Take this off. And then... Yeah! Now we can take this. Is that a different square? Excuse me? That's- that's a square there. And that's a square there. I guess there's so much signage in this puzzle that it ran out and re and started over, and now there's another square. And... let's see... I guess we wanna get that guy out of there, right? Or we could have him pointed at that. Maybe. Do we? Do we decimal system? Or do we not? Well, that's disabled this. That's a start. Not sure what that other laser thing is for just yet, but it might be a red herring. Cause you know, the Telus Principle had lots of stuff like that where you could either use a jammer or a laser to disable something, and a lot of the time you would only need one or the other, and you wouldn't actually be able to get one of the other ones. Ah, we do need that. Alright. This is turned off now because of what I did with the cube, perhaps? I, I guess so. Yeah, must be. What is this? Is that the cube I can easily recall? I sure hope it is. Let's go find out. This one? Let's quick save. It was! Alright. The question is whether what I just did is a good idea or not. Does that do... I think it does do what I think it does. So now we put this here. What happens if we hit this? This is where things get crazy. Oh, that's interesting. So this also is an orgate with all this. Man, this is... This is absolutely insane. So much signage. Okay, so I think we'll want to have that there for sure. And then... We come back... There, and maybe we can take this with us, perhaps. I guess we'll find out. There we go. Has a 
Has that disabled the Fizzler is the question. It has. I think we may have just done it. Ta-da! And we still have time in the episode for another. Alright. Cool stuff. On to the next. Thank you! Oh, that's right, I forgot there was a one that was just called Thank You. Let's, let's, uh, view this one's description. Is that, is that just a white? That is just a white thumbnail. Alright. Just a smiley face, huh? Alright then. Let me save your ears real quick. Let me just turn down that a couple 20 decibels. There. <laughs> it is like sitting solid at that volume level. Okay, here's the cube. This is this is absolutely insane. Insanity. Uh let's see. All right. Come on. Get on the button, please. Ah, oh, no, I messed it up! <laughs> Come on. I can tilt cubes at two times speed, I've done it before. There we go. Get on the button, and stay on the button. Thank you. Is there something else around here that I'm supposed to put... on the other button? Ah, I didn't even see that. What the? Hello? <laughs> Alright, oh man, this one is all kinds of messed up. I don't even know how to begin fixing it. There's that... and... oh, I fixed it. Alright. Oh my goodness. Let's- let's turn the, uh, the volume back up. There we go. <laughs> what an absolute mess. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> I'm still writing that one down, though, because as a puzzle, it is just an absolute nuisance. Alright. Well, might as well go on to the next. 26. Evaluate, view and workshop. The beginning of the second quarter, reflective companion, the third dimension, or backwards thinking are their hints for this chamber. Good luck, have fun. Alright then. Ooh, funnels. We have more portal surfaces now. This is... This is really strange to have portal surfaces. It feels wrong. But in a good way. It feels wrong in a good way. Alright, looks like we've got... this. What exactly do we want to accomplish here? That does that. Oh, 
Okay. Is there something else out here that I'm not understanding? Oh, right, that does the funnel. And... That only opens this up for us, right? I don't really... I don't really see what all that does for us. There's something I'm missing here. We want to hit the laser here at some point, right? Darn it, I wanna finish this before the end of the episode, but it's, it's already past the end of the episode, we're just gonna go overtime, I guess. What am I missing? It must be something really obvious. No... Maybe? Would that really... Would that really do a thing? Oh, what do you know, it does. Okay, so now we have portals in there. And we can put this here, right? And actually, where do we want to put this? <laughs> oh man, I feel like that was done intentionally. No really, where do we want to aim this now? Do I just want to get the cube in there? Is, is, is that it? Is that all I want to do? Even then, I don't see how I would do that, really. I can't shoot here because... Oh, I didn't even... There's a hole up there. And I'm not even sure what's up there. Machine gun! Alright, that's enough of that. I don't really think I need to hit that anymore. I have a portal on both sides, so the fizzler doesn't exist anymore. That's my old saying. If you have a portal on both sides, it doesn't exist. We don't have a portal on both sides of this, though. Slash. What is Slash? Where is Slash? I don't think that's Slash, right? Is that Slash? Oh, that's Moon and Dot, looks like. There's more stuff in there. Square... Where would Square be? Moon... Wait a sec. I feel like... Does this... The funnel... Does that also turn this off? I bet it does. Yeah, look at that, it does. There we go. We have a cube in here now. I certainly made that entirely too complicated. 
Alright, so now... I guess we use the funnel to get over there, right? We will save, and continue. Oh, that is Slash! Fancy that. And I can't walk on it without getting hit in the funnel. Alright. So if I'm understanding this correctly... What is this? Oh, this is the way back in case you get trapped. Alright, alright. Oh dear. <laughs> what to do next? Cause we can recall the cube, but we no longer no longer have a portal on both sides, so that means that this Fizzler exists again, and has suddenly come back into existence. Oh, that is a good point, we can just put it here. Alright, okay. But the thing is, how do we get it in here? Again. That's the problem. That's the thing I don't have an answer to. As soon as we move it, these fizzlers will turn back on. How do we get it onto that button? Oh, right, duh. I'm overcomplicating again. The, the funnel will push it again. As it did once before. Yep, there it is. Problem solved. Aim it at that ish. We're gonna. Maybe that'll work? Kinda? Perhaps? For chance, for snaps? What does that actually do? And why would I actually want to do it? I feel like this might be an alternative thing that I don't really need to do right now. Can we run to this button fast enough, is the question. Oh, wait a sec. I think I want to have the cube back. On, uh... Let's see... This here... I think I want to have the cube back... Okay, so I have to leave it here first, and recall it. There we go. And then I go around here, recall it. 
put it on here. Ah, but I can't- can't do that. Alright. So I do have to do it the way I think I do. I can't think of anything else to do. Let's see... Oh... Oh! <laughs> that makes things so much easier, I completely overcomplicated that as well. Alright. Now I just do that. I was incredibly close to that fizzler. But does it stay, is the question. It does! Awesome. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and if you want, you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below this video. Thank you for watching, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!